Alrighty, you guys, so welcome back to some more Hearthstone. Today we're going to be playing some Demon Hunter. I tried out the Relic Hunter and decided I didn't want to play it right now. It just feels like it's too slow. Uh, and there were buffs that were revealed uh, for Relic Hunter. So maybe when that comes out, we'll be able to play that. Um, but for now, we're actually playing the Grixis deck. This deck is absolutely insane. I think I had a uh, uh, basically an 8-3 win rate with it, which is 76%. Uh, uh, it's not often that a deck gets to just roll like that, uh, for me anyways, uh, especially because I don't like net deck stuff. So here's my final version of the deck. I did go through several variations of it. I think I'm only gonna show you games from the final version. Uh, but you can see the win-loss ratio up at the top of the deck tracker. Just really good. You want really low-costed cards uh, that are efficient at doing things. You really just want to try to get Crixus on 4 or 5. And just slap him down because... A 4-mana 7-7 seven, seven that just draws you 3 cards is absolutely insane. And uh, to find Crixus, we're playing a Tusk Piercer. So uh, if you open that early on amazing you just equip it two turns to attack with it as nothing if you have it turn one just attack with it anyways you just want to fish your crixus out uh, and i was running a lot more twos but i decided to uh taper it down just a little bit uh, so i threw in two iron deep trog and two crimson sigil runner crimson sigil runner really good because it doesn't add anything to your hand it just replaces itself which makes it better when you discard stuff with crixus uh, I say the mulligans in here, obviously Crixis, uh, if you can find either of the two drops that fish stuff out when you attack, and then Bibliomite, like Bibliomite is really good. And a lot of the times, like when you're going second, if you start with Bibliomite or like Battleworn or... I don't know about Fossil Fanatic if I would waste a coin to just to attack with him, but basically if you open Battlesworn or Bibliomite, you want to coin them out. And then if you have Dispose of Evidence with Battleworn Vanguard, I mean, that's just absolutely insane. Like, turn one, you're dealing three damage, and you have a 2-1 and 2-1-1's out. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoy the video. I had so much fun playing this deck. I'm probably gonna keep playing it just because it's absolutely insane right now, and I don't see anybody on ladder playing this deck. So I like, get out there, smash your opponent's face, and uh, kill them fast. And damage turn three. And, uh, unfortunately, I think we just play Crixus next turn.
Just shut him down! Just shut him down! No more Annoyatrons. Oh, he's gonna try to pop him. takes one deck. I like the Relic deck, but this deck just feels so much better. Oh, we like Druid. We like Druid a lot. That's not a bad hand. Coin out Bibliomite? I think so. Look at your slow deck. Pathetic. Play this. Drill one. Impressive. I think he's probably looking for the mine. The iron deep mine is mine. Sure, that's not good. I can't. I have to play this. All right, you got one more turn, Druid. Damn! What a fucking cambo. Sixteen, four, six, seven, eight. So we need eight damage. <laughs> we'll get the percentage after one more game. Keep these. Glaive Shark is just in case. <laughs> I probably shouldn't even play Glaive Shark, but the infestation just shut us down way too hard.
I like Iron Deep Trog and uh, Demon Hunter. I like that weird, like, icy blue with the green. <laughs> The Iron Deep Mine is mine. Excellent maneuvering, lady. Coin? Coin something out. He wants to tap. No, there's so much damage on the board though. And he can't play any spells. <laughs> mm. Oh. Well, what do you fucking know? I'm gonna save the weapon. Uh, I'm not gonna waste it. It's like if he board clears, he clears it anyways, but I'd rather keep the weapon in case he gets a taunt. You are not about to tap with 10 cards in your hand. up already. Oh well. What a Gotta go. Right now. So we have four, five, A 70% win rate, baby! I feel like we got pretty close to the optimal version of this deck. Magnifying Glaive honestly isn't even good the way I'm playing it. I mean, maybe you have to play like fucking Tiny Fin or something, but it just, I don't know, man. Magnifying Glaive just not good.